Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brad. Welcome back. back to another Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution video today. As you can see, we're on the Switch. We have Link Evolution installed, and you can all do this. And this is some really big news, thanks to JapaneseNintendo.com. They actually uh, share this out today. So, if we click on the game, obviously it's gonna check to see if it can be played because it's not out yet. And as you can see, it it's not out yet. Now, it's not available in the US eShop or the EU eShop, this is from the Japanese eShop, so you will need some digital codes or whatever to actually buy it. But the, the big important thing for this video is that there's some cool new information and, like, it's kind of crazy. You can probably already tell by the title because I've spoiled it because it's, you know, clickbait or whatever, but all from the logo on the screen there. But let's go to the Japanese eShop and actually just see. Here it is. So, Everything in Japanese, obviously, even like the name of the game is completely in Japanese, even though we know that it's like half Japanese, half English in Japan. You know, like the Link Evolution bit is in English. And we have, of course, all of these same screenshots. We've seen them before, the uh, the 5Ds one. That's Arc 5, not 5Ds. Uh, the logo, Stardust Dragon, uh, Summoning Deco Talker, Summoning Utopia, showing that the game hasn't... You know, we have still got... Uh, Master Rule 4 only, not Master Rule 3, and just, you can now see what the game will kind of look like on your Switch, and that's pretty cool. Now, the game is 3,240 Japanese yen, so that comes out to about £30, I think, or $30 around there, and as you can see, I've already bought it. Now, the interesting thing is that if you go down here and you look at all of this stuff here, you have the size of the game, which is 1.4 gigs, which is pretty decent. I thought it would be a bit less than that, but I guess they have a ton of card art, which uh, obviously is going to bump up the uh, the size a bit. But the top thing above where it's just like TV mode and, you know, tabletop mode and handheld mode, that's the important thing because that is all the languages the game actually supports. And obviously English is supported in that. I think like French, German and Italian are in there as well. Maybe Spanish. I think it's the eFix languages which are supported as well as Japanese, I think. Again, if you if you could speak Japanese, you can read Japanese. Let me know what that actually says because uh, thanks to Japanese Nintendo, we know it does support English. And as you could see on the home screen, the game's title is in English, and the logo is the English logo. We have the English Konami Yu-Gi-Oh logo, not the Japanese Dawn Monsters one, and it's just in English. So if you really want to play Link Evolution early in English, then uh, you probably can do by Go to the eShop, on, in, go to the Japanese eShop, buying the game. I think I had to pay like £32 in total for uh, eShop cards. So it's going to cost a little bit more. But you're going to get the game potentially a couple of months early. Be able to play it fully in English. Uh, hopefully everything's in English. Like At least like the icon is the English icon and the you know the name is English icon. And I assume because the language says it's English that everything's going to be English. Maybe the card art won't be, but you know at least like the card effects and stuff. That will probably be English as well. So um. Should be pretty cool to see exactly what uh, what this comes out to be on April 25th, which is exactly three weeks away from right now when I'm recording this. Because it's uh, when it's April 25th in Japan, it'll be like the 24th in uh, UK and in Europe and in America. So, you know, you'll be able to play it on the 24th. So technically early uh, then as well. But um, should be pretty exciting again. Like the fact if this fully does work in English, like if everything's in English then that means that the online multiplayer thing, the uh, the worldwide ranked thing, that then makes a lot more sense. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what, you know, content-wise is in this game compared to the official English version. But they might be the same, and Konami might be, you know, delaying one of them for a couple of months just to... I don't know. I don't know why they would want to do that. But uh, there we go. That's the quick video for today. If you uh, want to get it, just, you know, I bought my codes off of offgamers.com, I think it is. So uh, they had some pretty okay prices. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit more than it will do in America, obviously, but still, you're getting it early, hopefully, and uh, it's going to be in English as well, and potentially some other languages. I only know it's confirmed in English, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video, because it will be a Duel Links video next. See you then.